Emery! And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this easy, easy makeup look for homecoming or prom or any formal occasion, bridesmaid, whatever. Whatever you need it for. Three reasons why I love this look so much. One, it's 100% drugstore, so you can save money, which is great. Two, it's so easy. Like, it's, I am not a professional makeup artist. I learn from YouTube and that's about it. So it's super easy. And three, you can customize it to match your dress. <laughs> It's pretty great. Before we get on to the video, I just wanna let you know that I'll be linking all of the products that I talk about in the description box if you're interested. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not, and ring the bell so you can get notified of any future videos like this one. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's get started. I've already done my eyebrows with the Maybelline brow gel. I'll link in the description how I do my eyebrows with that. Yay, then we're gonna prime. So I'm just taking this e.l.f. tone adjusting primer and pumping it into my hand and then pressing it into my face instead of just rubbing it. It kind of helps it sink into the skin a little bit better. Then I'm taking the Rimmel Magnify eyeshadow primer. This stuff is amazing. I'm just putting that all over the lid and then blending it out. And I'm also putting some under Underneath my lower lash line and playing that out. Then I'm just taking this lip oil from Ulta and putting it on my lips to get my lips all soft and moisturized. Then I'm taking the Sophie X palette from Makeup Revolution. And the reason I chose this one is because it has or it has colors that a lot of makeup palettes have. And they're also matte, which is what we want for our lids. And they also have some really fun colors too. So I really like this palette. So first I'm just taking this white and then dipping my finger in it and patting it onto the lid. This white's not the most pigmented ever, so I'm using my finger to kind of help it get a little bit more pigmentation. And then I'm taking some tape and getting as much of the sticky off as possible. And then I'm using the corner of my eye and the corner of my eyebrow to kind of, as a guide, to kind of line it up. That may or may not work for you depending on your eyes and eyebrows. So just figure out where is best for you. Then I'm taking this medium brown with like these, a little bit of a red undertone and a medium of fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that all in my crease all the way from corner to corner. And I'm really really wanting to blend this out. I want this to go pretty high. And so I spent like about two minutes blending it out. <laughs> Blending it out makes it look a lot harder than it really is. Once that's all done, I'm taking a brown that's a little bit darker and doesn't have like the red undertones and a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush and putting it in the crease, not blending it out quite as high. This is just to deepen up the crease, kind of like define it a little bit more. Then I'm taking this dark brown and a small eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be making a V. So if you can see that line that the tape has made plus the top of the eyeshadow with the lightest color that we used, make kind of like a V shape. I'm just going to use that and kind of draw out a V or a triangle. Yeah, more like, it's more like a triangle than a V. And then blending that out. And then I'm just gonna take some more white and um, reapply it to my lid to kind of blend things out a little bit more. I, and then I'm just blending everything out just a little bit more. And then I'm taking the white again and putting it in my inner corners and underneath my brow bone to highlight. And then I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline Master Precision Eyeliner. Guys, this is the eyeliner that made it so I could like do eyeliner. The tip is so fine and long. It's just so easy plus the tape as the guide for the actual wing just makes it like ridiculously easy to do this. And I'm not doing a super thick wing. And then next I'm gonna be taking off the tape and kind of fixing up the end of the eyeliner to sharpen things up a little bit. Then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And then I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal Still Kiss Me pencil eyeliner and making a very like scary face and lining my tight line carefully. And then I'm gonna be taking a very small eyeshadow brush, like tiny, and some black eyeshadow. I'm just using this old Wet n Wild palette. You can just use whatever. And tapping the brush onto my wrist to get all the powder off and then gently setting my tight line with the powder. Do not get the eyeshadow in your eye. If you think you're gonna get the eyeshadow in your eye, just don't do it. This 
just helps so it doesn't like transfer onto your waterline. And I'm just cleaning up my eyeliner on my lid too with that. And then I'm taking a Q-tip and cleaning up my waterline just to make sure there's no black or anything on it. And that's the base look. Now we're gonna add the customizing part. So you need an eyeliner, either one that matches your dress or a more neutral colored one. So this one's like a really light gold. You could do white. Just line your waterline. And then you're gonna take a small eyeshadow brush. I actually ended up using one that was a little bit smaller later on. And then take the color, whichever color matches your dress, and put the eyeshadow on top of the eyeliner you just put on your waterline. Carefully, don't get it in your eye. And then you're going to go underneath your lash line and ex uh, make that line a little bit wider. You can make the line as wide and dramatic as you want or as like thin and not as noticeable as you want. It's up to you and how, how you like your look, but this is it. You could do green, purple, like guys, the possibilities are endless and if you, you could just go to the store and bring like a, the, a swatch of your dress and like match up the eyeshadow like exactly. Okay, and then you're gonna do the exact same thing if you have an eyeliner that matches the eyeshadow. You're gonna line your waterline and then I really like these Alme quads because they come in so many different colors and they are super pigmented. Even though the eyeliner is the same color as the eyeshadow, you still want to put the eyeshadow on top of your waterline just to set it and make sure it stays there all night. I recommend putting on concealer before you do the colorful part of your eyeshadow, but since I was doing like so many different colors to show you, I didn't want to like keep taking off the concealer, so I'm going to put it on right now. And I'm just using the NYX gotcha covered concealer and then I'm taking the Catrice proof it waterproof formula and the physician formula what is it called healthy foundation and you're supposed to mix them together but I'm too lazy so I'm just dotting it all over my face and then blending it out and then I'm just applying the foundation I love this foundation because it's not matte and it's not dewy it's just like it's there and then it also has that awesome wand for applying the foundation and then I'm just blending it out with another blending sponge and then I'm taking hello I was filming it's okay I'm almost done no I'm almost done I'll be up in a minute love you bye and then I'm taking this bronzer from essence I love this stuff because it's not super dark so for my really pale skin it doesn't look scary then I'm taking the fit me blush and applying that and then I love this highlight by Wet n Wild. It's amazing. I'm just putting it on my cheekbones and on my nose and the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then I'm taking the Cody Airspun powder and lightly baking under my eyes. I didn't want to go super duper heavy. And now I'm applying mascara. I wanted to wait to apply mascara until after I use the powder. Okay. Then I'm taking my L'Oreal primer and priming my lashes. And I'm taking the, this mascara from Maybelline. It's not my absolute favorite ever by itself, but with a primer, it's great. Um, and you can use fake lashes if you want to. I didn't want to because I wasn't really going out, but you totally can if you want to. And then if you get mascara on your lids, just don't touch it right now. Leave it alone. We'll worry about that later. Okay, now I'm taking the oil off my lips and using the Maybelline Prime It Up Lip Primer. This stuff is amazing. I have a full review on it if you want to check it out. And then I'm taking my favorite L'Oreal Liquid Lipstick. And I don't know what shade. Whatever shade's on the screen. And applying that. This, this stuff lasts forever, guys. Like, you just need it in your life. I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and gently go over the dried up mascara that's on my lids and it will take it right off. And then you need a spray, a setting spray if you want your makeup to last all night. So I'm taking the NYX, this NYX mattifying one. This stuff is amazing if you have combination oily skin. It makes me like makeup last forever. And that's it guys! What do you think? I think it turned out amazing and I totally love it and you could wear this for so many occasions and I just, it's great. It makes me so happy. All right guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Also, don't forget that I'm listing all the products that I used and talked about in the description box below. I do get a small percentage of the profits if you use my link to buy the product. Next week, I'm going to be doing a homecoming and prom hairstyles video. So if that's already up, you can check it out right here. Um, if you want to check out my last vlog, you can click right here. And if you want to subscribe, you can click right here. I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye. Mwah.